Now, to my understanding, Elon Musk, just like Bill Gates and many past prominent media celebrities, have been put in the spotlight to distract from the people running the show, pulling the strings, the puppeteers, as it has always been. In the case of Elon Musk specifically, he's been an irritatingly prominent character. You have to understand that no individual person has that much power and wealth. And if they did, they wouldn't want every single person on the planet to know about it. Elon probably also doesn't want you to know that most of his persona is entirely fabricated as he didn't even graduate college, let alone get a degree in physics. Most recently, Elon Musk has allegedly acquired Twitter. Hi, everyone. I'm Elon Musk. My bag, my bag. I love you. Now, there's no proof of that outside of news articles and media posts, no legal documentation, no official paperwork, just getting people to believe it through their control of the media. It does sound like an alien is using Elon as a mouthpiece to talk through. I wanted to reach out personally to share my motivation in acquiring Twitter. There has been much speculation about why I bought Twitter and what I think about advertising. Most of it has been wrong. The reason I acquired Twitter is because it is important to the future of civilization to have a common digital town square where a wide range of beliefs can be debated in a healthy manner without resorting to violence. There is currently great danger that social media will splinter into far right-wing and far left-wing echo chambers that generate more hate and divide our society. In the relentless pursuit of clicks, much of traditional media has fueled and catered to those polarized extremes as they believe that is what brings in the money. But in doing so, the opportunity for dialogue is lost. You know, with how much Elon Musk has manipulated the stock market with Tesla and Bitcoin over the past few years, he should be the last person talking about money because I would argue he is the most responsible for money lost and gain between the Bitcoin, uh, Dogecoin nonsense and the Tesla shooting up and down, just, just crazy. Also really ironic for him to talk about divide and conquer when the same people controlling him are the ones who strive to divide people as much as possible, get us to hate each other, deterring as much attention from the elite as possible. Elon Musk is quite possibly the largest distraction yet. Of course, butting his nose in the Russia-Ukraine war, no reason to be involved in it whatsoever, just pushing the mainstream agendas further. But what's the real reason for Elon Musk to be viewed as the owner of Twitter? You know, whether he really owns it or not is kind of irrelevant to the dog and pony show. Widespread verification will democratize journalism and empower the voice of the people. I mean, it lines up with the digital ID social credit score stuff, people's lives being monitored and awarded by some boot-licking government-controlled system. How crazy would it be if like you have a smart refrigerator and uh, you, you have a dream about like overthrowing the government and then when you wake up in the morning for breakfast the refrigerator doesn't let you open it? Uh, not out of the realm of possibilities guys. And they might have pushed the envelope a bit too far with uh, Elon suggesting digital ID for Twitter. Kind of the same uh, with Neuralink when people were freaking out about brain chips, microchips. But Elon tried to make them look cool and beneficial. Yeah, you really need that improved memory. You're going to be so smart after we wipe out all your thoughts with five gram antennas. Fantastic. Yeah, so to the general public, Elon Musk is supposed to be some super smart, successful, intelligent, world-saving tech guru billionaire. Yeah, that wants to improve humanity. And it's pretty obvious that they're tying this in 
with the NWO infrastructure required for complete control. And this graphic someone made parallels the World Economic Forum's crazy statements to Elon Musk's, you know, the carbon tax, the universal basic income, getting jabbed, microchips, and uh, one world government. And you guys got to keep in mind that uh, one of the biggest tactics they use is they gain your trust, tell you some truth, appeal to you, but then they suddenly swing back into the normal agenda. And you, know, you would think they would try to do it gradually or be a little more suggestive instead of more demanding, but I don't know. They have, they're like gonzo zombie freakazoids and they, ha they stick to their playbook. They have no creative thought or imagination, but go figure. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and you guys can enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you do want to support me, you can check out frank-defano.com where you'll see all of my businesses. But outside of that, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Come on, guys. Go to frank-defano.com. Support me, take some stress off me so I have time to relax and actually iron my shirts for these videos.